Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Silvia. Today I have a cardio pilates sequence for you. Uh, I chose 10 pilates exercises and will do each exercise for 50 seconds with uh, 15 seconds rest between each exercise and the next. Um, so feel free to take a break during the sequence or otherwise to repeat the sequence two times or three times depending on your time and your energies. Uh, what makes this sequence more intense is the repetition, the number of repetitions, the, the longest time we, um, the longer time we do the exercises for. Um, we'll do a short uh, sequence of uh, warm up before uh, at the beginning and we'll finish with a nice sequence of stretching so uh, make sure you stay until the end. So whenever you're ready grab your mat and let's get started. Let's start in a standing position so make sure your feet are hip distance apart and find that length in your uh, spine towards the ceiling towards the sky so gently bend your knees inhale up your arms up and exhale bring it down and inhale up and exhale down and again inhale up so really find that strength in your abdominals so feel that your Abdominals and dorsal corset is like working. And let's do two more repetitions. Inhale up and exhale, arms down. And one more, inhale up and down. So now bring your arms up, grab your right wrist, inhale up and exhale. Stretch your whole right side. Find that lateral flexion, inhale up and exhale, reach your arms down, inhale up, grab your left wrist, inhale and exhale, right, ring your arms over your head, inhale up and reach. And let's do one more each side, grab your right wrist and then stretch your whole side from the shoulder to your hip and up and release, one more time, up grab your wrist and flex laterally and bring it up and release big circles inhale up and exhale down inhale up and down let's do three more and down and two and down and one reverse the direction inhale up and cross your wrists in front of your body you can switch the wrist that goes on top of the other, inhale up and down, one more up and down. So now let's circle your, your right arm and add this little rotation with your torso. Inhale up and reach and up and down. So let's warm up your obliques, your abdominals, in your lateral abdominals and switch direction for four and three and two and one and switch side left side up and down up and down up and down so let twist your torso and reverse in and exhale inhale up and exhale let's do two more up and down up and release. So now let's go into some roll downs. So inhale, bring your arms forward and exhale, bend your knees gently and roll all the way down. So release your neck and shoulders. Feel the weight forward on your toes. Inhale, stay here and exhale. Bring your navel in and roll all the way up, vertebrae by vertebrae. Inhale, reach. You can extend your chest and exhale, soften your knees and really release your shoulders, neck and head. Inhale, stay at the bottom and exhale, shoulders away from your ears and find your gaze forward. And one more, inhale up and exhale, soften your knees and feel the strength in your abdominals. You're really controlling this rolling down inhale stay and exhale roll all the way up arms by your side and really find the opening in your collarbones well done so now let's 
begin with our sequence. So we'll, we'll begin with some squats. So remember 50 seconds for each exercise and 15 seconds break. Feel free to breathe normally in the sequence. So let's do some squats and reach and up. You can exhale here, inhale, reach and exhale, three. You can always um, make it faster or make it slower. Uh, be careful to uh, have quality in your exercise. So uh, make sure you prefer quality over quantity. So really find that strength in your abdominals. Your navel is drawn into your spine. You're really sitting back like you want to sit on a chair and breathe. You can extend your arms over your head and really sit back and breathe. We have a few repetition more. And we're almost there. Okay, next one, we'll stay in a squat, half a bit, you can say, and we'll do some rowing. So make sure your shoulders are away from your ears. Inhale here. And ready. And inhale. So feel that your quads are working, your abdominals are working, and you're really mobilizing your scapula, your shoulder blades. So they're gently retracting as you bend your elbows. So you want to reach back with your elbows and find that uh, neutral cervical spine. So your neck is nice and long. There's no tension in your shoulders and neck area. And really feel the whole body's working here. You're actually moving your arms, but the whole body is full of energy. And exhale, press back and reach. Press back and reach. Hand back and reach. Hand back. Few more. Back. Two, one, and release. So now let's find our plank position. We we'll do some mountain climbers. Four mountain climbers straight and four in, uh, in a diagonal line. So make sure you find the strength in your glutes and abdominals and one, two, three, four and cross opposite elbow, two, three, four and vertical, three, four and cross, two, three, four and front, two, three, four and cross, cross, three, Four and keep going. One, two, three, four, and cross over. So reach opposite elbow. And one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and release. Well done. So now let's go into some supine position, some prum position, sorry. So here, we'll do some gentle extension. We'll work the whole posterior chain. So up, reach back with your arms, bend and release. Up, reach, bend and release. Up, reach back, up and release. So keep your neck long here. So your legs are working, your glutes are working, your back muscles. So you can feel your uh, lower back muscles and your upper back muscles. So the whole posterior chain really is engaged. And find your breath. So make sure you're breathing in the movement. So you're really bringing oxygen to your muscles. They really have energy to work. Up, reach, bend, and down, up reach, bend and release and press back for a few seconds in shell stretch and then come up and sit. Find a seated position so we'll do some hundred but uh, in um, balance. So balance on your sacrum and one, two, three, four, five and switch legs, two, three, four, five and one, two, three, four, five and you can always find uh, you can always keep one foot on the floor. One, two, three, four, five, and for a simpler version, four, five, and one, 
two, three, four, five, and one. So keep that balance. Five and one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five, and one. So really extend that leg, point your foot, your toes, and one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, and release. So now let's start in a supine position. And we'll go from this position into our rolling like a ball. So extend your arms over your head. Feel your abs engaged. Inhale and exhale. Bring your chest, your knee to your chest, your knee to your chest. And release. And up and down. So for you to protect your lower back, really engage your abdominals before lifting your legs. Inhale and exhale, bring it in. Inhale, reach and exhale, bring it in. So use your breath. Exhale as you roll up. Inhale as you reach your arms over your head. And exhale up and reach and up and reach. We have just a few more repetitions up and release. And let's come up the last time and release here. So now lie on your left side, elbows down. So keep you, this elbow down and reach your legs uh, in a parallel. Inhale here and exhale up and down and up. So you're actually twisting. You're twisting towards your sacrum bone and you're lifting your legs. So keep them straight and reach so and to your ankles and exhale up inhale reach so really push that hip forward as you come down so really use your obliques uh, to find this movement up and down and up so remember quality over quantity so you don't need to do many of these just a few and well done, it's much better. So we have just one, let's do one more. Last one, up and down. And of course, let's go to the other side and repeat this sequence. So find your position, elbow on the mat, legs extended and reach your arm over your head. So make sure you press your hip forward, inhale and exhale, reach and push forward and reach and push and up and reach and up it might feel different so the two sides might be slightly different don't worry it's very normal just make sure that you find quality on this side as well up and push forward and up and reach and let's do a few more and extend that arm forward over your head so extend reach and up so use your breath we have a few more up it feels it feels longer on this side up and down let's do one more up and down well done so now let's do some roll-ups but we'll add um, a circle with the arms so from here let's find our supine position Inhale, arms over your head, and exhale, big circle. <sighs> exhale, inhale, reach back, and exhale, <sighs> circle your arms. Inhale, make this movement as smooth as possible. <sighs> exhale, so you can inhale as you roll down, and exhale as you roll up. Make sure your breathing is um, normal. So make, make sure you are comfortable with the way you're breathing. And roll down and roll up. So really engage your abdominals and up, reach forward and roll back. And a big circle with your arms and reach. And we have time for just one last repetition. And let's go back to a supine position with your legs bent. So we'll do some hip lift. 
So make sure you find your neutral spine, your sacrum bone is gently pressing on the mat. So here, up, tabletop, bend and, and rest. Up, switch leg, down and down. Up, tabletop, down and reach. And up, tabletop, press back and release. And up, up down and down and keep switching the leg that coming that's coming back to a table to a position and press with your glutes find that length and back up up down and release and press up up down and release and we have a few repetitions more here down and up up down and down and we're done we're very well done so bring your knees into your chest feel free to cross one ankle over the other so rock from side to side make sure you have your neck long you can place one hand over each knee and gently massage your lower spine with this rotation so make big circles with your knees to just massage your lower back and switch directions for a few repetitions more. And now let's go into some figure four to stretch our glutes. So figure four with your right leg and bring your knees into your chest. You can interlace your fingers behind your left thigh. Inhale and exhale, pull it in. Inhale, release and exhale. So we're actually stretching the glutes, but the lower back also benefits from this uh, lengthening. Uh, exhale and let's do last repetitions here and exhale and place for a moment both feet on the mat and switch leg. So figure four with your left. Inhale, interlace your fingers and exhale, bring it in. So make sure you find this progression. So with each repetition you can feel lengthening Go deep, deeper into that stretch and exhale. And let's do last one on this side. Exhale. And release. So grab one of your knees to come back to a seated position. Uh, it can be cross-legged or remember you can always find a cushion to place under a pillow, to, under your hips to release um, your hips or you can grab a chair if you want. So really find that nice long spine towards the ceiling, the sky. Inhale your right arm up and exhale. Really lengthen your whole right side. You can always watch towards your left hip to straighten, to really stretch that neck as well. Inhale up and exhale down. And left side. Exhale. So you can keep looking forward or you can twist your head and look towards your right hip. And inhale up. And let's do one more each side. Inhale. So you decide which direction your head is going. Make sure your hips stay level. Inhale up and reach down and one more time inhale and exhale reach bring it up and down well done thank you so much for being with me remember you can do the sequence two or three times uh, depending on your energy and the time you have um, let me know what you think about it in the comments uh, Feel free to uh, like this video and make sure you subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this. Thank you so much and I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.